What's up, guys? It's me, Tony G, coming to you from uh, Tropicana Resort and Casino in Atlantic City. We said, F it, we got a week till Vegas, came to Atlantic City to get you guys some new content. And uh, yeah, we're here, we're gonna play some uh, one, two, no limit poker. Hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. All right, some housekeeping items. Like I said previously, I'll be going to Vegas next week, so look for a bunch of vlogs from there. I'm gonna be playing a couple of the uh, WSOP daily tournaments, maybe some Golden Nugget tournaments, maybe some Aria tournaments, I don't know. Definitely some cash poker from various places. I'm gonna try to hit as many new casinos that haven't been on this vlog uh, while I'm out there. I'm out there for five days. And uh, love you guys' support, I appreciate it. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Uh, if you're not, support's been great, like I said. Really appreciate it. Uh, still a couple of these uh, Felt Life car protectors in stock. I got about 25 or 30 left. Got a white and a black side. Brings you some good luck sometimes at the poker table. Or if you play like an idiot like me sometimes, maybe not so much luck. But anyway, go get one. Store link down below. I appreciate the support. All right, guys, before we get into the poker room, I just want to let you know about Rad Poker. It's a heads up hold map, helps you make quick decisions online in poker, and even better decisions at the table. There's a new update. Here's a screenshot of it right here. Link down below. Go in the, uh, the App Store or the Android Store and download it, and I'll see you guys on there. Look me up, Tony G410. Literally the first hand when I sit down, I'm the big blind. I have ace five, nothing crazy happens. Gets around to me just to mix things up first hand, show some strength. I make it $10 to go. I know it's only a min raise, uh, well, a little more than min raise because it's one two. But anyway, only one caller and uh, we're heads up to the flop. I hit a five on the flop and kept betting into the guy. The guy looked at me and said, why are you betting into me? Kept calling down, and then eventually I bet $20 on the river, and uh, he just folds his cards, and I show him the uh, five and call it a day. Okay, a couple orbits later, I have King Jack and small blind. It gets to me and I make it $11 to go, but it gets re-raised by the cutoff who makes it $27. Everybody else folds and it gets back to me. And King Jack, in my eyes, is a pretty decent hand. Uh, there's a lot of draws that could hit. And uh, yeah, so I decided to go ahead and call the $27. Like I said, we're heads up to the flop. The flop is decent. It's jack six nine with two clubs. I have the jack of clubs, so I have top pair right now. I throw out a bet of $15 and he calls. The turn is the 10 of hearts. Well, I didn't really like that card because uh, king queen gets there and a couple other uh, draws get there. I check and he shoves all in for $280. I tank and then fold. I just, my gut told me it, it wasn't right to call. And I did. I just fold. Okay, I had lost an all-in flip with somebody who had slightly less 
chips than I did. I had ace queen and he had ace king and it didn't run out well for us. And we lost most of our chips and then wake up with this hand. So with queen nine, if I hit any part of this flop, I'm definitely just gonna shove it all in there and uh, hope for the best. And if I have to, I'll reload. But gets to me and I make it $6. The cutoff re-raises to $12. And apparently this is a game that everybody wants to get into this hand. Most people didn't fold. We were, I think, down one or two people to the table. But in total, we are going four ways to the flop. And after it gets to me and I put my $12 in there, the flop is pretty decent for us. It comes out four, six, queen with two clubs. We have the queen of diamonds, so we have top pair. And it checks all the way around to me, and I shove it all in. And only the cutoff calls. And the board runs out the six of spades and the ten of hearts. And I show him the queen. And he folds. And we take down that pot. We're back in it. Okay, a couple orbits later, I have ace-queen in middle position. It gets to me, and I make it $11 to go. Two other people call, including my boy Brandon across from me there to the left of the dealer. The flop is deuce, ace, ten with two diamonds. I have top pair. I'm feeling pretty good. Checks to me, and I throw out a bet of $15. The cutoff calls, and so does uh, my boy Brandon over there. He called, so we're still three ways up. Uh, to the turn here. The turn is the nine of spades. Still feeling pretty good. Uh, this time, my boy Brandon bets $45. And it gets around to me. And I think about this for a second. Does he have ace-10, ace-deuce? I got to see another one at least. I go ahead and throw in the 45. And the cutoff shoves for about 150 or 152, something like that. Brandon calls, and at this point, there's so much in the pot, I decide to go ahead and call. And we have a slight side pot, but not by much. And here is the river. The river is the seven of hearts. It checks down through the river, and the guy announces 10 deuce. I'm not winning this hand. He wins all the money. Okay, so we have the queen nine of hearts under the gun plus one, and it gets to me and I make it six dollars to go. The middle position, I believe, made it 18. I call and one other person calls. So we are three ways to the flop, and the flop is extremely, extremely favorable. It is queen, king, ten with two hearts. We got a straight flush draw. We got middle pair. And obviously the regular flush is available. I throw out a bet of $25. I'm the first to act. Only the middle position calls. And we're heads up to the turn. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Never had a straight flush. Let's do it. Pause here and hit the like button. Help me out. Get a straight flush. Let's get this. Boom. Jack of hearts. We got it. Only a royal flush is beating us now. We got the nuts. I look at my cards Hollywooding a little bit and put him all in. I thought he had more than $21, but apparently only had 21. And yeah, he calls, obviously he's not going anywhere. The river, doesn't even matter. You don't even have to put it out, but it's the two of diamonds. We show, and I tell him straight flush, and everybody's like, ooh, man, I, uh, and I want a high hand. First ever straight flush, felt really good. All right, mid-session update. 
We hit our first ever straight flush. Right now I got 45 minutes to wait for a high hand if it holds. The only thing that's gonna beat me is a royal flush because I have a straight flush to a king. If it holds, I win 300 and I'll be up on the session and then uh, probably a little bit more and then probably head to bed. Let's go back in. Okay, in the final hand I'll go over, queen 10 on the big blind. It gets to me and I make it $12 to go. Two other people call, including middle position and I believe under the gun. Uh, my notes, I didn't write that down, uh, that part of my notes. Anyway, we're three ways to the flop. The flop is five, king, ace, rainbow. It checks to the turn, believe it or not. Nobody wanted to bet after the flop. The turn... It hits us. It's the 10 of clubs. So I'm not letting it go to this time. I throw out a bet of $15. And only the middle position calls. The other guy was just half out of you. I wasn't even really paying attention. He didn't call. Just folds his cards. So we're heads up to the river. The river is the 7 of clubs. This time, uh, take a look at my cards and throw out a bet of $25 to try to get him to fold. He didn't seem like he wanted to call the last time. Put up to 25, and sure enough, he does fold, and we'll uh, take down this pot and uh, call it a night. And that is the session for the night, not including the high hand money, which I got right here. They give you a slip or something, it's weird. I'm gonna be up $100. Good deal rolling into the trip to Las Vegas. Gotta go turn this into the cage and then we're going to bed. See you guys later. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. Shout out to Greg, dealer at the Borgata was playing at my table. Cool ass dude. Definitely coming to see you at the Borgata next time I'm in town. Thanks for watching. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. See you from Vegas in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life. <laughs>